I'm good. How about you? Fine, thank you. I am Sangeeta. I am a tutor at English Talkie. Apart from English Talkie, I also teach I Tutor Mind, and uh, I have also taught in schools. Right now, I'm only focusing on sessions like this. I am from North India. North what India. About, Which place? Yeah. If you don't mind. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> I'm from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Kanpur. Okay, great. So, I'll uh, I'll uh, introduce myself. So, as you know, my name is Nageshwar, and I come from Uttar Pradesh. Okay, Bayagra. same, same, same place. <laughs> Which place? <laughs> Pryagraj. Pryagraj. Okay. I'm a government employee, and uh, right now I'm in Delhi. Okay, right now you're in Delhi. Okay, with your family? Yeah, with my family. Yeah. So, if you don't mind, Mr. Nageshwar, why have you booked this session? Means, uh, like, you only want to normal conversation, or uh, you are focused on anything? In, uh, it was actually, uh, I'll tell you wh what exactly I was going through. Uh, actually, whenever I, uh, I, I used to talk to somebody in English, then there was a hesitancy always that I carry, I used to carry. That if at all I got stuck in between the conversation, then what would the other person will think of me? And sometimes I do feel... I I do feel and I used to feel that uh, uh, I I sometimes I feel that I am I am finding myself that uh, sort of words. So we yeah, have all these things where actually uh, keep on uh, uh, disturbing me. Okay, But right now, yeah. yeah, right now I think uh, I am bit uh, confident. Uh, yeah, bit confident and yeah, things are going well now. Good. Things are going up. Great to hear that. Yes. Okay. Now the thing is, uh, first tell me, you want to uh, talk on general or you want to talk on the topic? Do you so know that today's I would topic? Yeah, I, I I went through the session document. The, it it uh, it was regarding time time. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. So we can discuss it. Yeah, we can have first general conversation in between. Uh, if you can switch to our uh, to today's topic, then it will, it will be more. Time. Okay. Uh, first, uh, like uh, uh, speaking English or any language. So it's uh, the requirements are speak uh, speak in speedly, like fluency or uh, accuracy or like. Uh, Uh, using a uh, huge huge or difficult type of offensive words actually what actually i think uh, if at all i am able to communicate with other person in a normal english words not using the words uh, fancy words then it is it is a normal i don't i don't mind that i should when i use fancy words then only i am able to speak my whole agenda is i should be able to communicate with other person so, yeah, and, uh, yeah tell me continue continue and as far as uh, english uh, speaking is concerned then i'll say this is the this one is the language uh, worldwide you can use you can communicate with everybody almost yeah it's a global language it's global language otherwise uh, i have been to chennai i have been to uh, south india i have seen uh, uh, the people who who are not aware of, who are not actually uh, able to speak in english they they, uh, they used to face uh, they do face a uh, lot of problem because of uh, this communication part only so yeah uh, yeah any if, uh, language if you are knowing yeah, yeah please, please, please. please no no you just so you, So you are, if you are comfortable with English uh, speaking or English language, then uh, it is always uh, uh, an extra edge with you. You you can survive at any place in this world. Correct. Actually, any language is a mean of communication, and English is a global language, so it is uh, 
i can say mandatory when we want to uh, groom ourselves obviously everybody right. wants to uh, hike in career everybody wants to earn lots of money so if we want to earn great or we want to grab great opportunities for that actually english is important because that is global language right and you correctly said that whenever uh, we are comfortable it's not about using fancy or difficult words with creative language to show that how much english you know no be simple be simple and accurate you should be uh, enough confident that whatever you are saying it is correct and what actually you are trying to say people should understand that there shouldn't be any misunderstanding your word should right. convey exactly what you are trying to say correct correct so at least uh, what i i i think that if i if i am having some thought I, i want to convey with you the same then at least i should be able to verify it i should be able to verify it so that uh, in a, in the in the same manner that what i actually think the the agenda should uh, convey to other person 